Hi everyone. I got a lot of requests from uh, my viewers on providing a tutorial basically trying to resemble some of these websites that have a fixed sidebar when scrolling. So basically <clears throat> I have a page here that contains a header element, the content area, and if I scroll down you can see that I have a footer as well. But the niche part is that when you scroll down this guy over here should stay fixed and then when you reach the end of the content area which define define kind of using CSS give it a mean height of 650 as you can see when it reaches the end of this this guy over here which is fixed will just scroll like the rest of the element in the page so basically as you can see boom and then if you scroll down it gets fixed again right Pretty neat, right? So, okay, let's see how we can create this. So, I'm going to just, <clears throat> by the way, I'm using this code editor that we've developed since uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, just go ahead and check it out. I'm going to I'm gonna put the link to this guy in the description. But let's get started. So, I'm going to switch off the CSS and JS, maybe a little bit resizing this and show you how I made the HTML so you can see that there is a header element here main header then I have a content section which consists of a container and uh, in the container I have defined two columns just just don't bother with this because this is I haven't I haven't made it uh, mobile friendly but you can go ahead and use media queries to just make it look better in the phone view uh, so what happens is that, uh, as I said, I have defined a column with the length of 3 on the scale of 0 to 12. And then I've added another one, 8, which represents the actual content over here. And then inside the side navigation, which I use an A side, I used side content, which represents the, this guy over here. So there is a side content, including uh, a header over here and a... Uh, unordered list representing these and then I put that in the site navigation and then obviously the content and at the end you see that there is a footer element here now switching to the CSS you can see that the main header is actually of position fixed I gave it a width of 100% and then added a bunch of CSS to make it look better and then the here the most important part is the contents which is this guy over here I gave it a mean height of 650 so that I have a real state to scroll down and uh, yeah there is nothing special you can see that the most important part where which makes this site navigation stick is here position fixed so basically it says that regardless of the neighboring elements uh, in the page uh, it will stay fixed in the position that is defined right that's why when I scroll down just uh, dragging a little bit when I scroll down this gets fixed so now to the interactivity part which is the JS part which is the most important part I basically use jQuery you could see that I defined a little bit of a variable thingy over here with jQuery window element, jQuery body, uh, window height and obviously the side content which represents this area. So what happens is that you have to basically <coughs> track this scroll uh, event so when this happens. So what happens is that when, when the scroll happens we pass a function to the jQuery scroll event Checking for what? Checking for where the top of the window is when we're scrolling, right? So what we want to do is that when we scroll down, when the, which this, this, this guy over here represented by side content, when the height of this plus where the window is at the time of scrolling, when it is more than the content height, this guy up until here, but I told you <clears throat> that I, ha I have added a mean height 650 to give it a little bit of a height over here. So basically, when the scroll top plus the height of this guy, 
is more than the, the content height, then add a class scroll, which I'm going to show you shortly what it is. So as you can see, let me show you again. So the height of my content is up until here. And this guy is fixed, right? So when I scroll down, when I scroll down, the top of or the scroll top of the window, and the window is represented by this, plus the height of this gets more than the height of the content, then I have added this scroll. And just to show you what a scroll does here, just switch down a little bit. You see, I change the position from fixed to absolute. I put the bottom to zero because I want this side content to be absolutely positioned at the bottom of the container, right? Which is my assay when it scrolls up. And then I define the top to be auto. So it actually gets set by itself, right? So what happens is that, boom, it gets fixed to zero, bottom of the side. And then it basically, obviously, because it's position absolute, it follows the scroll of its parent. And you can see that in the JS section, else, meaning that if this is not true, I just remove the scroll. So as easy as that. So that's how the websites do it. So basically, when you scroll down, 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 when the content, at the end of the, the height of the content, which is the scroll top, plus the height of this, I just change the class, I just change the positioning of this here to be absolutely positioned at the bottom of the container. And then obviously, since that is scrolling, this will be scrolling as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will share this link. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know I have been a little bit busy I'm sorry, I should have created a lot more tutorial, but I'm going to start doing it more often from now on. It's a little bit of an introduction to this if you don't already know what it is. We have been extensively working to create a, an editor where we can showcase our tutorials in an easy fashion and then obviously for you to go and use it. So you can basically, let me log out, you can basically go sign up you can sign up with your Facebook, you can sign up with your GitHub if you want, and obviously you can sign up using your email address here. And then there has been a lot of people using this and we are super happy about it. As you can see, people develop these cool stuff. You can go ahead inside them, you know, see how they represented the HTML, CSS, and JS, and they created cool stuff, honestly. Uh, all right, so until next time, Merry Christmas, and I wish you a pleasant day or night. Goodbye.